Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another carding video. Today, it's a guide on getting good at full throttle sterling heights. As part of this guide, I'll be taking you on a tour of the track and showing you where how to take each and every corner and get around as fast as possible. And if you're wondering, well, how do I how do I know what to do around here? Well, I've got about 330 races coming around this track, which is well over a thousand laps. So without further ado, let's go around the track. Starting with turn one, which is a long sweeping left-hander that tightens up at the end, which leads to a quick kink at turn two, followed by a right-handed hairpin at turn three, then into a left-handed hairpin at turn four, followed by a small chicane at turn five, and then a left 90 degree at turn six, followed by a quick right-handed hairpin at turn seven, immediately into a right-handed hairpin at turn eight, finally brings you to a fast 90 degree left at turn 9. So now I'll explain how to quickly take each of those turns starting with turn 1. You'll want to start your turn in here at about the first dot. After turn in, let off the gas for a counter two, more or less may be needed depending on the cart, and let the cart understeer following the line of dots. Get back on the power before the apex which is here before the cone. For turn 2 you want to track out to the far wall by the pillar and then immediately look for this joint in the barrier to track out to and start turning for turn 3. Turn 3 can be taken at full throttle, hugging the wall while tracking out to this line. After which you want this line on the left side of the cart and turn in at this line for turn 4. For turn 4 you want to apex here around this line in the concrete, again at full throttle. Then a quick jog to the left for turn 5 and clipping the apex at the pillar for turn 6. Now I counter steer to keep the back from slipping too much. A little slip works because then I can swing the cart around turn 7 at full throttle and minimal initial steering input while hogging the inside wall. Coming through turn 8, you'll want to immediately look for this arrow as your turn out point and turn in point for turn 9. And that finishes up the lap, so let's see how a full lap looks at full speed. And that'll do it for the basics on getting competitive lap times. Hope to see some of you out there, and until then, happy racing!